every now and again in my streams I will actually get asked what do I need to start out body painting what equipment do I need what tools do I need what do I need to start out body painting so I've actually decided to film this video to tell you everything that I think you need to start out body painting Hi, my name is Leah, or Leah. I am your body paint guru. I've named myself that if you wanted to know, that was my thing. And it is my job to teach you about body painting and why body painting is specifically an art form, nothing else just an art form. So when it comes to body painting, a lot of people assume that you have to have, well I guess they don't assume, they kind of ask if they need all of these big things. They ask if they need all these brushes, all these different coloured paints, these really expensive brands, all these really cool tools and stuff. Reality is you really don't. I'm going to show you what I personally think you will need that will help you get going and then you can go and expand from there, especially if you're wanting to find out if you even enjoy body painting. So I'm going to show you what you need from my perspective and how to use them or examples of how to use them. Before I get into that I want to tell you what I started with personally, bearing in mind I had no teachers, no nothing, I just kind of went in with it. The kit I started out with was from Snazaru, it was this, this little container thing here, this little yellow plastic box, they still sell it so if you want this I will link it down below. It came with a max, I think it came with like three brushes, some glitter, so a lot of paint. In my opinion, as much as this is brilliant for starting off body painting, I wouldn't recommend it just because the experience I've had with said brand, which is Nazaru, the paints don't work for me personally. I just think they're a little bit too dry for the, my style of painting. They tend to crack and I take a long time. So if I'm body painting for a while, these paints cracked and then I get really upset and then I try and fix it and then they just crack again because, you know, paint dries after it's been activated with water. So, you know, all the water disappears and then it's not wet anymore. <laughs> In my opinion, I wouldn't recommend Snazaru just because of my experiences with it. I would recommend another brand or another couple brands which I will get to further down and I will go over all of this again anyway. But this is actually a really good kit to start off with because it comes with the essentials plus more that you need for body paint which is actually really really good. I'm going to start off by telling you about the brushes. Paint brushes for body paint are not body paint specific brushes. You can get body paint brand specific brushes, but they're not actually body paint specific brushes. A brush is a brush, like a paintbrush is a paintbrush. Obviously I wouldn't recommend, re recommend ones from B&Q because they're obviously wall type brushes. I would go for ones from like an arts and crafts store or a paint shop not acrylic paint shop. This is my collection of paint brushes. This is as far as I've got. I've had these for about four years now. Some of my body paint brushes are also makeup brushes because you can use makeup brushes for stuff like this. I use quite a lot of makeup brushes within my body paint collection because I quite like fluffy brushes like this for basing out colors. I have this really big dude. He's actually really fluffy when it's clean. It's massive. This is from Wilco if you live in the UK. And then I also have stuff like this I have foundation brushes I have an eyeshadow brush here eyeshadow brush there this is a Royal and Langnickel brush I have a smudgy brush a bottom liner brush this is actually a nail art brush nail art brush I use a lot of brushes basically is my point you don't need to have all of these brushes to start out so I'm going to show you the brushes I started out with which is these Snazaru ones these are the three brushes I started with I started off with these type of brushes when I first did body painting and I painted this for the first time six years ago. That's still a weird thing to say. So it just goes to show that you can start off with the tiniest little brushes and still do some quite big things. I'm going to show you the brushes I think that you should start off with because these are actually going to be really, really helpful for basing out colours, shading, highlighting, blah, blah, blah. These four brushes are the brushes I think you should, again, I've used them, they are dirty, I know I'm a minger, I get it. These are the type of brushes I would recommend to anyone starting out body painting. You can buy them from like Superdrug, 
will go anything cheap places cheap brushes if you wanted to be vegan and cruelty free i would have a look out for vegan and cruelty free brushes i am the exact same so if that was the case bh cosmetics nyx foundation brush so this one is going to be for basing out colors and huge areas if you're wanting to do bigger body paints this is perfect because you're going to have a bigger brush to fill in bigger areas as opposed to something like this which won't be doing that. Um, I've also chosen out a concealer brush or one of the bigger eyeshadow brushes. Again, kind of for basing out maybe smaller areas that the bigger brush won't fit into, but you can also use this for shading, mixing colors together, highlighting. You've also got this one, which is more of a medium-ish detail brush. I would say this is probably for specific detailed paints, outlining, again, shading and highlighting. And this one, I would say, is more specific for outlining, shading and highlighting. Not necessarily blending, but if you wanted like the comic book detailed bits, then this would work really, really well as well. These are just kind of perfect. I know there's only four brushes and you're going to be like, yeah, but Leo, but what if I need to change colours or something? We'll get to that in a second. You don't have to use them for what they're for or even what I've told you that they can be used for. Use them in whatever way you think. If you want to be doing details that are really tiny but blended, use the smaller brush. If you're wanting to be doing bigger details that are blended but not that big, use a bigger eyeshadow brush. Use a big base brush for shading or big highlighting patches. Use them for whatever suits you. I just think these are the perfect kind of brushes to start out with to get you going. I'm going to refer back to Snazaroo like I was talking about. So Snazaroo I found was a little bit dry, a little bit cracky. Again, I would recommend this kit purely because it's perfect for the amount of stuff you get. Personally, wouldn't recommend the actual paint itself because it cracks, because it's really dry. It feels kind of dusty. The consistency doesn't fit with me. I don't like dry feeling paints, especially because I have dry skin. This kit and this paint actually is found in most costume stores. I don't know if it will do it for like Spirit Halloween or anything but it is found in most costume stores in the UK. It's about £5 a pot. I would, really, you know, I would recommend it, but I also wouldn't consistency-wise. If you wanted to just practice and see if you like body painting, then sure, maybe. You can still get better quality paints for way less money, though. You will find that most body painters use a brand called Mayron. Mayron is probably the biggest name for body painting out there. Everyone uses it. The quality is actually really good. It's just so damn expensive. So I wouldn't recommend this for beginners because that's a lot of money to spend on paints where you may not use them as often as you want or you may not even enjoy body painting. There's way better brands for way cheaper that you can use to practice with. The ones that I would recommend are Superstar and Chameleon. They are both vegan and cruelty free, but I think most body paint brands are vegan and cruelty free nowadays, which is great, I love that. They are between about five and seven pounds each for 45 grams of paint. That is a chunk of paint. And the bonus of one of the brands, Superstar, is they actually do mini pots. They're about this big. I don't actually have any, so I can't show you the size. They're about, I think it's like three pound or something for a really mini pot. This is perfect if you want to try out body paint because you don't have to spend a lot of money on loads of huge piles of paint. <laughs> that sounds piles of paint sounds weird. You could just buy a little pot, see how you like it, and if you do, go to the bigger ones. So I just wanted to go over a few differences between Superstar and Chameleon just to let you know. Superstar is actually very similar to Mayron. It's got a really nice velvety consistency. It's very smooth, blends like a dream. The colour range is great, they have metallics, they have mattes, they have big pots, they have little pots. To be honest, I can't really complain. I have nothing bad to say about this brand. I've been using them for about a year, I think more now. Chameleon on the other side, I wouldn't necessarily say it has downsides, but it does have a few paints that do tend to crack. So in that sense, they are more similar to Snazaroo. Not as drying as Snazaroo, don't get me wrong but they just have a little few paints, like a really tiny selection, especially that I've had experience with that do crack. These paints are Absinthe Green and Ink Heart Blue. Two of my favorite body paint colors. Ink Heart is the most incredible body paint I have ever used color wise. It has this really nice like shift with a red. It's not even metallic, it's actually matte. Oh, it's beautiful. They just crack a little bit and I don't know if that depends on how much paint you use in one layer i think it mainly it does because i've only experienced it cracking in like movable areas that are 
also very thick consistency when they're la <laughs> layered up so it might be down to user error on my part still wouldn't stop me from recommending it to you though because having said that it doesn't crack mixed in with other paints so that just goes to show that mixing it with another consistency actually makes it an even better consistency again could be user error i do wear paint for a while i am constantly moving around in it so that's probably more down to me i will still recommend chameleon they're also just as smooth and just as bright as the superstar paints and they have just as big of a collection only downside is they don't have mini pots that i know of if they do i will correct myself here out of the two if i had to suggest one i would say superstar the fact that they have the little tester pots kind of bumps them up there ever so slightly when it comes to selecting body paints please 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 don't go by in every single color they have in the collection i would start out with your primary colors which is red yellow and blue primary colors are colors that cannot be mixed with other colors and i would also get black and white i'd say white more over the black just because you can create darker colors and darker shading colors without black you can actually do that with your primary but you can't necessarily lighten colors without a white if that makes sense you literally have no excuse to say i can't do this body paint because i don't have this color because in actual fact you do you can make these colors with your primary colors you can make secondary colors tertiary colors i will put the color wheel here you can make every color under the sun literally the world is your oyster with these primary colors and it's all you actually need for body painting you don't need much more than that well i will say i have nearly all the colors from superstar and chameleon but that's because i wanted to <laughs> but if you're doing this you know just for fun get your primary and your superstar in the mini pots and away you go like i say you don't really need black that much because you can create darker colors with your primary colors however i would still in a way recommend it because it's nice to have a black paint in there and white is always a must because you can highlight with white you can mix lighter colors with white you can't necessarily do that with primary colors so if you don't own a color make it when it comes to further down the line and you're taking this very serious and something you really want to get into i would say don't stick to one brand from experience just because you like said brand doesn't mean all the colors are going to work for you you might find a color that's exactly the same in another brand that may work even better than the brand that's actually your favorite don't stick to one brand because there's other brands out there that branch out and like i say you may find better paints and colors from another brand even if it's not your favorite and there's nothing wrong with that it's fine all body paints mix well together they react really well they just create a new kind of consistency nothing's gonna like burn or satellite or anything just because you've mixed a couple brands it's fine you can go ahead and mix a few brands up a lot of people say can you mix brands because of consistency absolutely just make a new one you make different consistency with the paint anyway when you add water you can make paints really watery there you've just changed the consistency by adding more water you can make it really thick and velvety and like a bit more like icing you just change the consistency again with less water if you would like a video on consistency of paint and how they react let me know in the comments below because that is something that i can actually do we can do like a wear test see how things go place it in different parts of my body i have paint on my arm how yeah that would be a funny that might i might just do that anyway i don't need your approval A spray bottle of water my spray bottle is actually nip and fab's primer water bottle this isn't their primer water this is just straight up water i do want a proper this bottle but this one i have because i had it the reason you'll want this is because it activates all body paint pans evenly and you have a little bit more control of how much water you're putting in the paint pan you may not know this but you can not ruin the paints but you can kind of fudge up how they sit they some paints can like almost melt if you put too much water in the pan and then the water hasn't had time to evaporate it can become quite thick so with this you have an even coverage because you know you're just spraying if you need more water spray some more water on it if you don't need that much it's not that bad because you've not drenched it whereas if you had it in a cup i know this is pop but say you have it in a cup and you get all this water and then slap it in you may have just used too much water 
and then you've partially ruined the pattern. I'm not saying it happens all the time, it can happen if you use an excessive amount. So I would be wary of that, which is why I recommend this. Also means no dirty water pots. There's no drinking dirty water. <laughs> I guess it saves water. In a way, not a fact, but I guess so in a way, yeah. And all you have to do is just refill it. Another thing I will recommend is having, again, these are used, <laughs> is having a cloth with you. So I think this is from a body paint brand. And the reason I have this is because it helps clean up areas that you're working on, also helps clean up body paints. I use this when I've gone wrong on a body paint. You can use tissue, you can use cotton buds. They don't pick it up quite as well as this. And the thing I like to do is just wrap it around my finger and then wipe. Will this work on this? Wipe. But it helps, it works. It saves rubbish, it saves filling up the bin with tissue and cotton buds. All you have to do is wash this. You don't need to keep getting a new tissue and it gets it off way quicker than a tissue would. Surprisingly, tissue and cotton buds, as much as they lift up paint, it doesn't lift it up as much, which means you have to keep reusing them. So it's just a little bit more eco-friendly. Always get a cloth, I'm telling you. The final thing I would recommend is a towel. So again, <laughs> mine's dirty. This is mine. <laughs> I have a pattern going. I actually fold mine up. I use a towel and I fold it up and put it in my little station. So when it comes to using your brushes that you only have a few off, you can spray it with your water bottle, wipe it on here, get rid of all the paint, and then carry on painting. It's nice to just have, even I use this. I have all these brushes and I still use this just to switch a couple colors out. I may have dipped my brush in the wrong paint. I'll wipe it off. I'll try and get it off in the paint, obviously. Put it like over your lap or something, over your workstation so it doesn't stain the desk. Stuff like this is just really nice to have to save up cleaning the planet. <laughs> You could do this with tissues, but it's still gonna be the case if you're gonna to have to keep getting multiple, multiple tissues, and you could just use a towel. This is how much I use my towel. This is just one side. The other side isn't used, it's just covered in latex. This is one side, and about two months worth of paints, maybe more, I paint three times a week. That's a lot of paints. That's a lot of tissue you're saving. It's worth it, and it's needed. Everyone has a towel in the house, Everyone has a spare towel in the house, therefore you have a towel for this. With the cloth, I would say if you have a spare flannel, use that, that will work just as good. These ones are just a little bit softer on the skin, in my opinion, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't need to be specific, it just needs to be something that can be thrown in the wash, that can be washed that can be used multiple times without having to worry about if you've run out. I think that's about it. If there is anything that you think I may have missed, please let me know in the comments below. I also want to say just a massive, massive thank you on my last video. It was received really well and I've had nothing but positive comments on it. But a lot of support from that video and a lot of people also agreeing with what I was saying, which is great, which is just perfect. It's what I wanted. I wanted to teach people. My whole goal for being here is to teach people that body painting is nothing but an art form and it's stunning. There's so much you can do with it. There's so many things you don't even know are body paint and it's just crazy. If you do want to see the previous video, you can see it up here. I think it's here. <laughs> Please also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. The button is, I think, there. I also have a Patreon. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you can do so. The link will be in the description. And also don't forget to check out my Twitch, Instagram and Twitter. I stream on Twitch three times a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday at 12pm British Standard Time or Greenwich Mean Time, depending what time of year it is, is British Standard Time at the minute. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you again so much and I love you all. Bye.